Morning class, I'm Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School and today I'm going to show you how to paint a graduated sky comparing acrylics to water mixable oils. You may find there are times using acrylics that they just dry off too quickly for you or are too difficult to blend, especially when you're painting in thin layers. Using water mixable oils can be fantastic because they give you that extra working time and painting wet into wet is one of the real significant differences you'll notice because you've got a lot more working time to smoke those colours together. So in this video I'm going to compare acrylics and water mixable oils to see how they differ when trying to blend in a really thin application. If you intend to use watery washes at the underpainting stage in acrylics or water mixable oils, then having an absorbent acrylic gesso is a good idea as the starting ground because this will ensure proper adhesion and absorption onto the surface. So I use an acrylic gesso and this is a mix of titanium white, calcium carbonate and a binder and it's a perfect base to work on top of. You'll also find canvases labelled as universally primed and they can be used for both acrylics and oils. And the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the canvas board by adding a couple of layers of acrylic gesso onto it. I'm going to dilute it slightly with a 50-50 mix of airbrush medium and water. I'm going to paint a couple of layers. The first layer is white and then just leave that to dry for about half an hour to an hour. For the next layer I'm going to tint the gesso with some raw sienna acrylic and again just dilute it with some of the airbrush medium and just mix this together with a palette knife. For drawing out the image I'm going to be using an acrylic marker and they come in different size tips depending on the brand. This one is quite a fine tip but then they go right through to a wider chisel tip. I'm looking for a ground colour to complement the scene and I could use a neutral grey but I want to bring in this yellow hue that matches the sand and gives this nice warm glow to the bottom of the painting.
Using a straight edge, you can just mark the horizon line with the marker and then just indicate a few of the details in the distance. So I'm going to sketch in the foreground using acrylics and the great thing about water mixable oils is, so you can also paint on top of the acrylics with them. This is a touch of Tharlow blue and then just lightening that up with some titanium white. So I'm just holding up my brush against a reference image to judge the colour and the hue and then just very loosely scrubbing it in. Adding some ultramarine blue makes it warmer. You see how it's got a slight shift towards purple and then a little of the raw sienna moves the colour more towards turquoise, makes it greenier. So as more of the area is blocked in, I can judge the colour more accurately and it feels like it's still pulling more towards turquoise and it's a brighter colour. So I'm going to introduce a brighter yellow. This is a Hansa yellow light. So this is a cool yellow which will pull the blue more towards turquoise. So now just to illustrate, just using water as a medium with the acrylics and water as a medium with the water mixable oils, I've put out here the cobalt blue hue and some ultramarine blue and this is titanium white and it's just got a tiny touch of the yellow ochre in it. Um, I might use the white, I might not, so I'll see how the painting goes along. So just to mix a base tone at the top, Okay, that's looking good. And for this example, I'm going to be using a synthetic brush that's got softer bristles. This is from Rosemary & Co. This is a Shiraz Filbert and this is a size eight. Just gonna dip my brush into some water.
and start to see what happens when we increase the water. So you can see how, because I'm working, of course, on the easel, it's running down, but you can start to see how it's spreading out. Um, this is getting quite thin here, quite a thin application. It would be okay because we've applied that gesso ground, so it'll hold on to it. So you can still manipulate it around. And it's kind of holding together, but, but not really, it's not really holding a film together because of the inclusion of the water in this thinner layer. So what I'd usually do if I was working on a thin application with acrylics is add a medium to help me out. So this is an acrylic glazing liquid, and this is a gloss finish. And what I like about this medium is that you can use it in um, any ratio with your acrylics. So it comes out white and you paint it white and then it dries clear. So with the medium, start to see as I just add it and kind of mix it onto the surface it's like holding itself better so that especially when you're working vertically on an easel you can um, it holds together into a film more easily So where this can be great, I mean, that's how it's got its name, it's glazing medium, so that you can take it, add a bit of colour into it. And then for example, over here, glaze up the colour and it'll start to bring an intensity to the colour underneath. So then if I was trying to get this like as smooth a graduation as possible, this has already gone off, it's, it's already dried off. So I'd have to start to add some more paint on top again. And then just work using the glazing medium just to bring that softness down. So exactly the same process with the water mixable oils. Start with just using the water. Whoops, got a bit enthusiastic there.
So you can start to see that similar effect that we had with the acrylic with the water, that you get this kind of dappling effect um, as it gets more and more diluted. So now when I'm trying to get that smooth, with the areas that have got thicker oil, that's, that's working absolutely fine. But when you've got the, just the water, you can do it, it just feels a little bit streakier. I found that what you have is when you dilute it this much with water, it dries very quickly. Um, a little bit slower than acrylics, but not that much slower. So it dries very, very quickly, and then you start to add a little bit more oil, and then suddenly the drying time is again a lot more like traditional oils. So when I'm coming back here, that's still, yeah, here at the bottom, it's not really coming off that, that much. It's kind of, as the water is evaporating out from the surface, and it's soaking into the surface, you haven't got that working time that you had when it was thicker. A whole range of water mixable mediums are available to achieve a good flow and the desired consistency, but I'm going to be demoing using a water mixable thinner. This will dilute the paint and extend the drying time in comparison to diluting with water. So you're getting some of that spreading that you got with the water, but you notice how it's kind of moving more slowly. It's got a little bit more uh, viscosity to it. So it's holding uh, the paint in a film. It won't hold it as much as an oil film, but it will hold it more than water.
it feels easier to move this paint around and it still kind of hold its shape, um, if that makes sense, even on such a thin application. 